Friday. Woo -woo, you made it. Week two, going on strong. Our theme this week was conflict resolution. Just checking ourselves and knowing how to relate to other people when we're stressed out. That can include our parents and our siblings. So you did it. I hope you did it in the most peaceful way. I hope that you were able to take some deep breaths. I hope that you were able to get some work done, but then also most importantly, spend time with your family and be grateful for the things that we do have control over and things that we can't control that we learn how to be at peace with it and learn how to find other different solutions. So I hope that you're active today and that you're dancing and have some breaks today and you kind of maybe go outside, just take a deep breath and get to see some greenery, like some trees, because that helps us. All right, so stay tuned for two special hosts. I bring back to you, Dr. Butler and Miss Mateen. Hey, Bradley Bears, this is Dr. Butler. And Miss Mateen. We're your principals and we have a few words of wisdom brought to you by Project Wisdom. Somebody very wise once said, you are the master of words yet unspoken. Once spoken, they are the master of you. What do you think that means? Let's think about it. Who decides what words are going to come out of your mouth? Obviously you do. So you are definitely the master of your unspoken words. And what happens after you speak your words? Somebody else hears them. Then somebody responds to those words, for better or worse. And he or she may even act upon your words or pass your words along to somebody else. Now who's control of those words you spoke? Are you in control anymore? So take charge of those unspoken words and think before you speak. Remember, you are the master of the words you speak and responsible for the good or bad that those words can cause in the world. This makes me think of what my mom used to tell my brother and I when we were little. You don't have anything nice to say? Don't say anything at all. We really had to stop and think before we spoke because if we said something that hurt each other, we'd have to hear her say that time and time again. You're right, Miss Matei. I agree with you on that. But it also makes me think about the words that we don't speak and we keep in our head that we're telling ourselves. What are you saying about yourself? And then how are you responding to that? Because you have control of that too. Are you saying good things to yourself and good things about yourself? Because that's going to help you do great things. So today and every day, be in control of your words and choose to be kind to others and to yourself. All right, it's time for our character trait of resolution. So watch us first. Resolution. All right, one more time. Do it with us. Ready? Resolution. Resolution is to take the time to make great positive choices when you have a problem. With something to think about, this is Dr. Butler. And Miss Matei. Make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Happy Friday, Bradley Bears. Ms. Matei here with your Classic Joke Friday Home Edition. This one is brought to you by Maddie Berry in second grade. Why did the frog cross the road? Why did the frog cross the road? Because he wanted to show his friends that he had guts. <laughs> All right, hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed this Classic <laughs> Joke Friday. The Matei family seems to enjoy it. Until next week, bye-bye.